I often get asked to do tutorials for some of the things I do in my videos. I do plan to do a more in-depth tutorial for display entities, but those can take a long time to make. Another common question I get is how do I run multiple commands with a single note block? And that is a quick video I can make while I'm between bigger episodes. I'll start with the basics and work up to where we're at here, and the world download is available if you want to look at anything yourself. An observer can detect block updates from note blocks. So when you tune them, it actually triggers that. And so you can get a redstone output from that. So basically all that I'm doing is getting a command block to trigger. So we can get cat and chat. The next step is the execute if statement. So we're putting this in front of a command that we want to run. And we're saying to run this command if the block at this location is a redstone lamp. And then if it is, run, say, lamp is here. So right now, I don't have a lamp that's in this position right here. So if you run it, nothing happens. If we place a redstone lamp there and run it, then it checks, the lamp is there, and it says it's there. You can also do things on like the block state. Not only is it checking for the redstone lamp, but it's actually looking to see if it's lit. So if it's lit, we're gonna say lamp is on. And if it's not lit, we're gonna say it's off. So right now it's off. Now we can say on. So with this, with execute if, you can have it look to see what a block is actually doing. So now all we need to do is have the command look at the note block itself and then say, hey, if the note equals one, say, you know, our command or have it run whatever command we want. It says note one. And then you can chain this with other command blocks so all of these are just chained onto this command block and it's checking if note equals two, then say note two. And so I just have these chained together. And so every time we tune it, the next one is checking. They're all checking every single time I run this, you know, it's just the one that's true gets the command actually run. And so now if I keep doing this, now we're at note eight. And what I want to do is I want to have this loop I don't want to have uh, to go all the way back to zero and back around to get back to note one. What you can do is add another chain command block. So at the end of here, this is checking for note block seven and saying, hey, I'm note seven. This one here is also checking if it is note equals seven. And then if that's true, run set block back at that note block and reset it back to zero. All right, so now with that one there, if we look at our note block, we'll go to six. Now, if I go to seven, it'll say note seven, and it will also reset back to zero. And then we can loop back around and just keep going. I used to use a lot of chain command blocks in my videos. I've since almost entirely moved over to using data packs. If you find yourself using a lot of uh, chained command blocks, I highly recommend moving to data packs. So with a, with a data pack, you can run a function file. And so right now this is loading a tutorial and it has the exact same functionality, has the same functionality as this old chain, but just with one command block. So I'm just down to these three blocks to be able to do this. And so that function file that I'm running is only a list of the exact same commands that I'm running in those chained command blocks. We don't have the uh, forward slash in function files, but it's execute if block you know equals one. So every single time I run this function, it runs through every single list. It checks the one that's true. It spits out the answer. When it gets to note seven, it says note seven and it also runs the uh, set block to get the note block back to zero. And with that, you're also not limited to just having like huge piles of command blocks. For running things like this, this is thousands of commands that are running to do this. And so being able to just put them all into a file is what's necessary to actually be able to like do things like this. So you probably won't be able to read this, but these are the commands to do those displays. To get these two to run, this is about 13,000 commands. I just wanted to make this quick tutorial, so now I have some place to direct people when they ask me this question of how to do that. And it's been about a month since my last video. I've been out with a cold. Uh, this is really like the second day I've been able to talk without having my voice like entirely break. It might still sound a little bit raspy, but I hope this tutorial helps somebody. I plan to have the next geology video out soon, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.